Hello, sports fans, and welcome to the Broadcast Booth. I'm Jason Aaron Goldberg, and this is Card Collecting Shenanigans. While you're here, hope you'll subscribe. It's Mail Drop Monday, and today we got birthday presents for me and for you. What am I talking about? Why can't you see anything? There's just packages everywhere. Uh, let's get into the shenanigans. Uh, it is birthday week for me. Uh, I don't really do much for my birthdays usually, but I gotta admit, this year has been a present-rich birthday with uh, the kind packages from Classic Cards and Francisco Santiago. I was overwhelmed. That's like more presents than I usually ever get in like any birthday in my life. Uh, and then on top of it, I got more packages uh, last week and some of them, I've been told, have specific cards in them for some young kiddo collectors out there that are fab subs, just like Francisco included cards for uh, some other fab subs like uh, Lee the Terror's buddy who lost his Cardinals collection in the campfire, uh, and just on and on. So this is some hobby love, people. Fab subs sending me cards to forward on to you, and I'm really excited. So how are we going to break it down? This baby right here, this is from Like a Hawk. Uh, this is an official birthday gift. So we're saving this for tomorrow on my actual birthday. We'll also rip a Project 2020 arrival. These two packages are from Paul Ray, a uh, great fab sub, giant uh, fan, Niner fan. Uh, and he has got cards in here for some of the young kiddos. So we're going to open these today. Uh, like I said, Tuesday will be like a hawk. And then Wednesday, we're going to play a little pick-a-pack. Just a little bit. Uh, and then no episode Thursday. Because then i got to get back to sorting. I have so many cards still. I barely put a dent in all the sorting last week. Uh, but it's really, really fun. Great sports event on. I just sit there and watch games. Uh, when I get done with work and sort cards, it's, it's been awesome. Uh, okay, so let's get into it. First up, though, of course, in the dugout today, we got Donnie Baseball, because on this day in 1997, the Yankees retired his number 23. Also in the dugout today, we got the Kraken, because he finally decided to unleash, maybe only for a moment, but he did hit a grand slam that helped the Yankees finally win a, a series. Uh, they have really been scuffling, and it was just nice to see the Kraken unload and hit a monster shot. Uh, of course, we got Jackie Robinson because we just wrapped up Jackie Robinson Day slash Weekend. And of course, at the same time, because 2020 is the total pits, uh, we lost Chadwick Boseman, uh, the great actor who played Jackie Robinson. Just, I mean, 2020, the pain continues uh, to hammer us. But uh, And then finally, home run challenge number five, which of course came at the expense of the Yankees. This might be one of my best home run challenge wins so far because... He's only, he had only hit five on the year, and they were playing a doubleheader. I said, you know what, maybe he'll hit a useless home run. And, and then he hit a home run to tie the game, and then they won the game, the Mets, and just it was brutal, but at least I got home run challenge number five. Okay, let's see what Paul has sent. This one, he said, is definitely for me. Everything is pre... Oh, look at that. I actually wasn't sure if Paul knew that it was my birthday. Uh, and like I said, it pre-ripped, but I didn't look inside. So nice to see a little sticker there. Got a little note here, but those are for me, not for you. There you go. Niner Giant fan. Love that. It's a great looking logo there. That's right. He And he mentions here that he thought he heard. He heard right that my birthday was September 1st. Uh, and yes, you are correct, because Virgo's rule. Okay, let's see what we have. Very cool. I don't know. This is exciting. Where do we want to start with this? I hope everyone had a good weekend, uh, or best you could, in light of all of the drama happening, uh, and then the loss of Chadwick Boseman. I mean, just, it's like it never stops. I was teasing with Like a Hawk. I said, we need a new scale when we talk about how bad things are sometimes. You know, it used to be like, oh, how bad is it, like, on a scale of 1 to 10? And I was telling my family, and I told Like a Hog, I said, now we, the new scale is, how bad is it on a scale of 1 to 2020? Actually, let's just do that. Whoa. That's awesome. All right, let's see. I think there's a couple of them in here. So let's be delicate and try to get the tape off. Because I'm not sure if these are perhaps just reproductions or if they're like maybe original delicate 8x10s. So we're going to find out. Let's just 
take everything out of here. There we go. Now we're in business. All right. All right, we got two two pictures here. I think, yeah, with just carved stock in the middle. 1956 world champion New York Yankees. Very good. Got Casey Stengel there. There's Yogi. I'm not even looking at this. I'm just seeing how many I can guess. Gil McDougal, Don Larson, Whitey, Billy, uh, Elston Howard, Moose Scourin. Hank Bauer, Mickey, and there's all, and then there's for my, the cheaters out there. Although my dad, I'm sure he could rattle this off without question. And then we got another really cool one here. I don't know when this is, but it definitely looks older. Um, let's see. So that kind of looks like a really young Whitey Four. There's Phil Rizzuto. And Joe DiMaggio. Yeah, so I, this has got to be late 40s uh, to early 50s, give or take, um, before Mickey Mantle. Wow, very cool. We'll have to, if the verifier is watching, I'll have to check in with him uh, and we'll see if he has any answers on what uh, what year this could be. And these are going to look great. I was just rearranging a little bit. Actually, let's put this baby right here, right? I was rearranging uh, the Yankee room a little bit uh, yesterday and so now we've got a little more space to uh, add stuff. I think I might even have a couple picture frames to see if we can frame those up because those are really nice thank you so much paul okay so already it's seven minutes let's see if we can't pick up the pace a uh, skoosh uh that was the other reason i wanted to mix it up was because i knew that this would be a little bit longer because it's a big old box all right another little note for me indeed indeed okay Ooh, puzzle pieces he says don russ puzzle pieces all right so Thomas PC. Let's just take everything out and get into it so we can clear clear the field here in Shenanigans Card Park. Very good packing job, Paul. We got nice bubble wrap and a little foam inside. Keep everything safe. Very well done. Here we go. Okay. Woo, another one. Stacks and stacks, people. Look at this. Look at this. That is just awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Let's do it like that. We'll go a little bit quickly, uh, just because, you know, uh, we're already at eight minutes here. This looks like we got uh, some usual stand the minute. We might even have enough there to make the whole puzzle. I can't remember if I made the usual yet. Okay, so these are all usual. All right. Oh, okay, I see what he did here. Musial, Yastrzemski, we don't need to see all the puzzle pieces. I'll uh, revisit that. He said, he, and, and what was the third one here, he said? He said he included Ty Cobb. So Stan, Yaz, and Cobb. And I'm guessing there's our Ty Cobb. Definitely haven't seen the Ty Cobb before. We will. That'll be fun for me to go look and see if I... If I can't uh, try to put some of those puzzles together. For the Frank Thomas PC, just an interesting card. Phil Plantier had, uh, I remember this as a kid, this card. This is Frank in Little League. <laughs> it's triple play. This was uh, basically like big league back in the day. It was, you know, like an affordable product for younger kids. So I definitely was buying that as a young kid with a minimal allowance. Just an interesting card. That is an interesting card. It actually looks a little bit like the Mike Talkman slide to win the game the other day as he dodged the tag and reached around and got in. You know I love me some minis. 
And this is why I need to take Thursday to sort again. Because this is... Oh, I can't get them out. I'm going to have to... We're going to have to tear the bag. Because I don't want to damage... Oh, and of course. Of course. Well done, Jason. Well done. Why don't you just drop everything all over the place? Hey, why don't you just put that anywhere? There we go. We'll pet it. We'll Paul O'Neill. Warrior. Tashir doing a great job uh, with ESPN. Grandy Man. Rivera. Euclid, the Greek god of walks. Murphy. The late Tyler Skaggs. Evan Longoria. Ooh, Hall of Famer Rod Carew. He converted. And I saw some of these. How many? Maybe all? Oh, just, we've got a lot of ANG backs. ANG backs are always really fun, in my opinion. They're, you know, a nice variation on these minis. Is anybody else a big fan of the. Ooh, nice. Clemente was 2013. Look at that. Very cool. Upton, Henry Rollins, and Lindsey Vaughn. I think, was she dating P.K. Subban? Is that who she was with? I keep seeing pictures of them, like, on yachts. Okay, that was awesome. I'd love to add those to the mini binder. Let's see what we got here. See a, a Toronto Progeny card. Juan Soto. Rakin. As he does. So these are nice, because I'll be able... Some of these I'll definitely be able... Ooh, that... I, I want to say these are, right, the nickname variation. Carter Kibim. Acuna back. I mean, maybe the most exciting player in all of baseball, Fernando Tatis Jr. There he is again. I mean, he just is so fun to watch. There's a little Pete Alonzo. Vladdy. <laughs> Getting into the steroids. Whoa, you know what? I don't know if I have this one. I did rip a lot of this. Because I remember this particular design. But I don't think I ever pulled a rated rookie Chipper Jones. And I, since I don't have it, I'll probably keep it. So sorry, Fab Sub Jason Wento. Very cool. I Definitely, I don't think I have this one either. 82 Rod Carew. Ooh, nice. 82 Gary Carter. These are beautiful. 82 is such a great design. Kayvon Biggio. Eloy. I'm trying to get that right, because it's not Eloy, as I've now been listening to the broadcasters. Eloy. So, you know, you want to speak it in the appropriate way. The Hapa. Oh, my goodness. We've still got so much to go. We're already at 13 minutes. So, we got a lot of cubbies here, which... May have to reciprocate, uh, perhaps even with Francisco Santiago. It did since I just sent Hawk a great package, but Francisco also told me he's a Cub fan. I gotta try to hit him up a little bit in the PC uh, because he has been so incredibly generous. You Darvish, Schwarber unload the whole Cubs outfield was unloading yesterday. Albert Alzale. Bodie. Bodie hits like consequential homers. Javi Baez. Nice. Ernie Banks. Ooh, that's really cool. I dig that. That's awesome. I love these actually. With like the firework design. Fab Subs have sent me a couple things like this. Just awesome. And Hap. That's awesome. So as we see, here's the first package. Now, I'm not going to look at these. I'm going to let these uh, go straight to Alex Bonin of Bonin Boys fame so that he can open this on his channel. Uh, and you guys can go check that out. And then where's the other one I saw here? So we got Whip Brooklyn Nets for Wickelex, who hasn't been around uh, for a little while, but uh, we'll send that his way. We got some Twins cards for Baseball Card Kid 28. So you have to tune into his channel. 
Oh, look at this. Natalie Wu, fellow birthday uh, haver recently in her Sweet 16. Got Dodger cards for Natalie Wu. Laker cards for Natalie Wu. Again, not going to show these, so save us a couple minutes here. Dig that. Actually, this is probably for her as well. I know she's a big Aaron Gordon fan. That is awesome, Paul. Wow, look at that. See, this is what I'm talking about. Birthday presents for me. Birthday presents for you. Ooh, side PC. Side PC. Has everyone been working on their side PCs? This is for the signers. This is awesome. Old stadium club. Really cool. Todd Van Poppel, the superstar that wasn't. Vlad Sr. Here's Hall of Famer Larry Walker. Very cool. I've got a really nice little collection of these signers going. Since I turned that into a real side PC, it has turned into something special. And actually, speaking of Jackie Robinson Day, there's a great one of Jackie Robinson from Stadium Club uh, that I've now put to the side for the signers. Of him signing for all these kids like in front of the dugout. It's a great looking card. It's just beautiful. It's shocking to me that they're still able to come up with um, images that we've never seen before. At least that I've never seen before. My Clippers made it to the next round. Very excited. It's like only the second time they've made it to the second round ever. Terrence Mann is played by James Earl Jones. Ooh, look at that Blake Griffin rookie card. Still like Blake. Still think he's a very, very good player. Paul George. Okay, Paul. The lesson for you is stop shooting threes. Drive to the hoop. See the ball go in the hole and take it from there. You can go back to shooting threes once you've been dropping them in the hoop, but he is really, really cold right now. Very nice. This is 1975. Very cool. There, look at the stash on Steve Carlton right there. Look at that caterpillar. Beauty. Oh, little Pete Rose vintage. Take that. A Breg. Very cool. Whoa, that's... Oh, yeah, I remember this. The five tool. Oh, nice. Hashtag KB for the PC. Beauty. Right there. Very cool. Hello, Starling, my old friend. It's a nice Tops Fire foil. I, never, I was like, the orange, baby, right? That's numbered. Dig that. D Wade. D Wade uh, dyed his hair with the, uh, the power symbol. It looked great. I saw a picture of it. I think he put it on his Instagram or something like that. Of course, can't complain about any uh, Ginter relics, even though. These are people I don't know very well. What is he? He is a professional poker player, if you say so. Nice. The, I do love these rookie card medallions. With the, it's got no front, or is it? Oh, yeah. So it's like maybe it's a book or something. I don't know. I'll have to go back and look at that. Nice Pele. There's one for the signers. Nice. A little pink. Hashtag Chase and Pink. Jason Chase and Pink. All right. Here's our Yankee crop right here. Woo! I'm telling you, present rich birthday. You'd, I never got this many gifts uh, unless I was like a little, little, little kid, you know, and you get a lot of gifts because they were all like three, four bucks. Oh, is that a rookie of Matsui? Wow, that's awesome. Godzilla. Oh, that's great. I don't think I have that one. He's like our superstar right now, too, Luke Voigt. He's doing it all for us. Nice Tanaka rookie card. Whoa. That's cool. It's like a... Oh, it's a one of those. Oh, wow, look at that. It turns out. That's great. I've never seen that card before. That's 205, so that's interesting. Another one. Oh, with Noma. Should have never left the Red Sox, unfortunately. Nice. Glaber out for weeks still. LeMahieu came back, did all right, had a nice little hit action. A couple hits in the double headers. The Mick. Tanaka. Oh, there's Miggy. 
Rough treading, Miggy. He uh, he had one game where he played, you know, he went like two for four with uh, run scored. He was doing pretty well. Um, and then he had yeah, another game where he was like 0 for 7 or something, and he did not play either of the two games in the doubleheader recently, uh, or on yesterday. So that was kind of a bummer. Nice rookie cup. There's a, So we're getting doubles up. Take that. Again, that's an imagery use right there. I mean, they're painting it, but that's like a, such a common image that they use of Andujar. Nice, Lou Gehrig. A little A-Rod, Matsui. More Matsui. Oh, I've got a run of Matsui here. Nice Babe Ruth. Oh, those are cool. We've got three Matsuis. That means so we're definitely reciprocating with uh, some of the young Yankee co fellow Yankee collectors. Yankee team sets. Okay, so I think we can save ourselves that time. Uh, these are older team sets. Let's take a last look here. Since we've already crossed 21 minutes, boy, I'm really glad I made the choice to break up like a Hawks till tomorrow instead of doing a big long mail day. I thought about going live again, but um, I just thought that, uh, you know, that I feel like more people, it depends on the day, really. Sometimes I feel like I'm not getting enough people watching the archived live feed and I get more eyes uh, on just regular episodes. So that's why I didn't do live today. Nice. Clint Frazier. He, he uh, had a great series. The Kraken. Yeah, that's right. He was cracking yesterday. At least once. I think he might have actually gone like one for 11 or something, and the one was the homer, which would match his... That's a beauty, Reggie Jackson right there. Which would match his season look, because uh, he's like... He's like 12 for 24 or something, and like half of them are home runs. Whoa, that's awesome. That thing's beautiful. Look at that. Look at all that shine. Wow. Ooh, it's like making the camera change color. Wild. Woo-wee. I'm sweating with all this fire. This was amazing, Paul. Thank you so much. And look at this. Here is still the stack that I get to send along. Just so awesomely generous. Uh, Paul, you are the man. I always appreciate your kindness and support. Everyone leave a comment and let me know what you thought of the first episode of Birthday Week. I look forward to reading those. Slam that like button. Make sure you're subscribed to all your friends. And I'll see you next time in the broadcast booth.